welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be working on the rest of the exhaust system for the Accord. And I just wanted to mention, uh, don't forget to subscribe guys because the channel's growing like really quickly now. Uh, we're almost at 940 subs, so that's pretty awesome. We've come a long way and it seems to grow faster and faster. So I'm getting really pumped and uh, I think that pretty soon we're gonna to get to that 1,000. So don't forget to sub and like the video as well. Follow me on Instagram, that Accord guy, you know, doing all the plugs in the beginning now because some of you probably don't make it to the end, but that's fine, that's fine. Anyway, anyway, here's the car. We got the back jacked up now because we're ready to do the rest of the exhaust. So I kind of left off, I was halfway done with the downpipe and I ended up throwing in that traction bar that you guys saw in this last video here. You can see the bar right there, it looks sweet. Still obviously haven't driven yet, still haven't figured out a front motor mount solution because innovative kind of screws you there. You can't really use your stock motor mount. And I have stock motor mounts everywhere. So I'm either, I'm, I'm, it's a toss up. Let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking about maybe going with aftermarket mounts for the other three and not running a front torque mount, but I'd like to run the front torque mount. So maybe I'm gonna fabricate some kind of torque mount and then still run my stock mounts because I have an insert in the back and I had this rubber insert or the, it's a poly, it's a like some sort of plastic insert in the front, like a urethane insert. And it really stiffened it up and I don't think the motor moved very much at all. So unless I'm able to implement that, I might try to use that particular motor mount and make a bracket off of that mount to bolt to there. Then I think it would feel essentially the same. So might try to do that. Um, not really sure just yet. I also could fill the other motor mount on the trans, but I'm kind of sidetracking here totally. I always do this, but totally getting sidetracked. Let's get back to the exhaust. Here's the downpipe. The downpipe is basically finished. So came up honestly really awesome. I'm really pumped. It fits really well. I put a V band on the end of it. So we're going to have all V band stuff, but all in all, I'm super pumped. I think it looks sick. Only thing I have to do is the wide band uh, bung. I have to weld that in. I have to find a spot for that. So all in all, it looks really awesome. I'm pumped. Definitely better than that one. That thing uh, looks like a piece of junk comparatively. You know, you got all the dents right here. And then th this bend on the bottom, I will take the, the heat wrap off. I was thinking to show you guys this bend. This is not good. This is like, it's like a turn down cut like a slash cut and then I made it up to that, it probably like hits a wall coming down there with the air. So I'm really hoping that we spool this turbo up quicker. Um, I think it's gonna help out quite a bit because this isn't a huge turbo for this car. So I think it should be able to spool it a little bit quicker with this three inch downpipe and three inch full exhaust. Hopefully I don't hit it on anything. I may have to raise the car up slightly and I do plan to get bigger wheels and tires, but. I think this exhaust is gonna be much bigger, so in order to avoid hitting it on anything, if it looks really low, I'll probably raise the car up in the end. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this downpipe up and I'm gonna show you guys what I have planned for the rest of the exhaust, and I'm gonna quit talking. So I got the downpipe in right here and you can see that we got plenty of room uh, over by the alternator, much more than we used to have. It's not like a ton, but it is more than we had and it's nice and close to the block. Stay away from the radiator up front and it goes down and under right there. And the clearance underneath is really good. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yep, so it really comes down nice and wraps right around the oil pan, and that's where it cuts off. I cut it off just shy of the rear motor mount. So the next piece that I wanna add is just gonna be a little length of pipe and then a flex pipe that I bought, which is a big three inch flex pipe, pretty nice. So we're gonna add that, and that should add like a nice flex point if the motor does in fact rock, which I'm sure it will move because of their stock motor mounts. And that way it'll uh, prolong the welds and all the, you know, exhaust itself. And uh, less wear and tear on the exhaust if we have a flexible joint. And I don't think that it'll blow out. It's pretty nice, it's pretty nice flex pipe. So anyway, hopefully, like I said, we don't hit on anything. You can see that that's now like, the lowest point of the car, if you like. Hopefully the camera angle gets it, but that is the, now the lowest point. So hopefully we don't run into too many issues here with that being too low. But I guess that remains to be seen. We'll have to lift the car up and uh, put some bigger tires on it. Fine with me.
So this is what I came up with for my next piece. Uh, I hope that it's not too long. I tried to make it uh, a nice short piece there that connects to my V-band that's underneath. And then gonna go to my nice big flex pipe, which you can see the inside is actually full three inch. Like it doesn't neck down at all, which is sweet. And it's got nice stainless on the inside of this thing too. So looks really nice. I think it's gonna do pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and V-band this guy up and we can work on tacking the big long piece of pipe on that's going to be the rest of the uh, middle section of the exhaust. It's not going to have any cat, it's not going to have any resonator, and it's not going to have any muffler. It's just going to be straight back from this flex pipe and we're going to work it. So let's see what happens. We got this big ass 10 foot long pipe that I got from Napa for like 35 bucks. It's like 39, but I think it's just mild steel. But whatever i'll just paint it it'll probably rust but i don't care it's only 39 dollars you know we'll fix it if it does you know uh, i'm all about cheap so building this thing on a budget or i don't want to spend too much money in exhaust pipe obviously i didn't buy the ebay kit for 225 because i think i can do it for cheaper so we're going to see how cheap we can do this i'll let you guys know but if you do some fab work yourself and have the proper tools there's no reason why you can't get it done cheaper than buying a pre-made kit so Hopefully that guy works. I'm gonna go bolt it up and we'll see what we're gonna do for the rest of the exhaust. All right, so looking under here, you can see the flex pipe and then it goes to this big straight piece here, big long straight. And then I have it going over to this 90. So I wanna take this 90 into another 90 right away and then have that uh, you know 90 right around this little bend here. And then it's gonna go with a little piece of straight and then right to a V-band and so I can have another V-band here so I'll have V-band here and then a V-band right before the flex pipe up top there so it should work out nicely and uh, I should be able to you know remove the exhaust quickly and easily if I need to and make modifications and it is making it easier during the process of uh, fabricating the exhaust because I have to pull it on and off many times and it's a lot easier than uh, just using flanges. So I'm gonna weld this pipe on there, I think, and I'm gonna go ahead and weld up the other one, and then I'll get a jack under there and see where it fits best. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We just gotta keep piecing this uh, exhaust together. It's tedious, and uh, I probably should've just bought the pre-made kit. Probably would've been, uh, definitely would've been a lot less work, but I'm already into it now, so uh, gotta finish it. Gotta see it through. I wish that I actually had it on camera, but <clears throat> something very interesting just happened to me. I went to go use this uh, bench grinder here to, you know, give me a little bevel edge and then get it all wire wheeled so that I could weld on it real nice. And uh, I had backed into the cord on this thing while it was plugged in, uh, like, I don't know, a half hour ago. I like accidentally walked into it, but I didn't think anything of it. When I turned it on, nothing happened, and uh, so I... I went to reach over and grab the, the cord while it was still on and just kind of jiggle it maybe and uh, I actually got electrocuted oh well, I didn't get electrocuted because I didn't die but I got shocked um, I got shocked by the cord here and you know my natural response for some reason was to like grab on I think it's because I was getting shocked my, my muscles tensed and I tried to pull my hand away and I was just trying to rip the wire out of this thing um, I probably should have just tried to unplug it over there but, uh, or just turn the switch off. Like, there's a lot of different things I could have done. But uh, I ended up just, like, trying to rip the wire out of the back of it. So I kind of did more damage. I think that I, basically, when I walked into it, I think I yanked this ground wire off. Uh, that was on the back wall there. So I'm going to put a new ring terminal on this, clean that up. And then this guy was actually on the switch. So I'm going to put a spade connector on there, put it back on the switch here. And uh, this is the power. This is the one that I ended up yanking off afterwards. Um, I'm pretty sure because I can see that's all bent. So I think this one just ended up coming off. So must have had a pretty bad ground. It looks like the crimp kind of cut the wire. So probably never had the best ground. So that's kind of not, uh, not the coolest thing. But yeah, it, uh, my finger hurts a little bit. But I'll get over it. So I'm going to try to fix this. Hopefully it still works. I didn't kill the switch or something. Um, yeah, fun stuff.
guys, so it's a new day, and I got back from Home Depot a little while ago, and I got some uh, round bar stock here. It's half inch. It's pretty big stuff, but I'm going to try to use that to make some exhaust hangers. So I'm just going to, you know, give it a nice bend and then stick it into the rubber hangers that I have right here. These guys, and uh, it should stick in there and fit pretty tight, and then I'll just have, you know, a nice bend on it, and then I'll weld it to the exhaust, just like these are welded on here. On this, it'll be something like that. Um, I'm gonna try to mimic this setup here um, because it seemed to work. So I'll do the same thing. And yeah, so we should be able to make some hangers. I don't need to make too many. I mean, just a couple in the back, you know, one or two here and one there. I mean, there's not too much going on with the piping. As long as it doesn't move, uh, I'll be happy with whatever amount of hangers makes it not move around. So yeah gonna go ahead and fix that. I also would like to make a bracket up front for the downpipe, but I do like where the pipe is coming out. It's pretty centered, maybe not the best, but I think if he, if I get a tip on here, I can angle it and make sure that it's nice and centered. Um, I'm planning on getting uh, like a dual three inch tip for the back. I think that'll look pretty sweet. So I gotta order that, or I might make one. Maybe I'll make one, that would be kinda cool too but it would just look like pipe, so I don't know. Maybe that would just be kind of hood. I don't know, we could do either one, but uh, yeah, I'm more concerned with getting these hangers done, so this exhaust hangs by itself, and bracket for the downpipe, and then also I want to drill for the wideband bung, and that is all I want to do, I think, for this exhaust, and then we'll be ready to rip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it, start figuring out what I want to do for hangers. So it's been taking me forever to get this video out, but this exhaust has really been kicking my butt. But I'm finally to a point where uh, I'm done with all the fabricating and almost all the welding. Um, just got a couple more things to tidy up, and then I got a couple more things to tidy up with the car before I can actually fire it up. But we are really close. I think the next video, hopefully, I can start it. Um, but yeah, so in this one, I'm going to show you guys the exhaust system. So this is, on the, on the right is the 3 inch. And on the left is the two and a quarter. So you can see we had a, I had a test pipe on it before. Cat was on it for emissions. And here is the straight pipe with a flex pipe. So I got a little hanger that's welded onto the side there with my V-band. And that comes down with a couple of uh, hangers right here. And then this comes down to a 90 and another 90. And then I've got a little straight with uh, another V-band a 45 joint right there that I stole from some other 3 inch piping that I had and then I got another 45 right here and then two of straight which cancels out our muffler and I got a couple more hangers back here so hopefully uh, this thing sounds good I think it will it definitely looks pretty awesome so I'm pumped I think the ground clearance is pretty good it could be a little bit better but um, it's just by the rear control arm back there. There's not really much that I can do to make it clear better. So, you know, just hoping I don't tap it, but I don't think I will because it's right under the wheel. So we should be all set. Um, I'm pretty excited. I do want to paint the exhaust so it doesn't rust. So that's something that I'm probably going to do uh, within the next few days here. And also I got to finish the downpipe. So I'm going to get under there and show you guys this bracket that I made. Pretty sweet little bracket um, just to hold the downpipe affixed to the motor so that when it does flex, it flexes with the pipe and not on my welds on the front of the downpipe because it did have a little bit of flex to it, which I'd prefer it didn't. So I'll get under there and show you guys that bracket. All right, guys, so you can see the pipe comes down here and it goes over to this nice bracket that I have there. So it's a two-piece bracket. One side's mounted to the back of the block and one side is mounted to the, br uh, the actual pipe itself and then the two bolt together so that I can still get the pipe out and it's not this huge thing hanging off of it. But uh, yeah, so the, this guy goes to a V-band right here and then it goes to the rest of that exhaust that you saw. So I have this all tacked up so I'm going to go ahead and take the downpipe off now and then I'm going to weld that um, fully and then I can drill the hole for my wide band and then everything is pretty much done with the exhaust.
so I spent about half of today looking for my O2 bung that I knew I had a few days ago, but now I cannot find it anywhere. So it is what it is. I lost it. I'm going to have to order another one, but I did end up getting the whole exhaust painted in some high temp black. Not because I think it looks cool, but because I want it to not rust. Uh, this entire big length of straight pipe was all mild steel, as well as all the welds were definitely going to rust being on aluminized. And even to the flanges, they're going to rust because, you know, I'm not doing like a true stainless uh, welding wire or anything like that. So, you know, rust is definitely going to happen. So if I coat everything with some paint, it should make it a little bit less likely. So I got this thing all nice and painted up. It's looking pretty good. And I got my hole started to be drilled there, but then I couldn't find the bung. So that kind of sets us back. But at least everything's painted now. I'm going to go ahead and slap it back on the car. But I think that I'm going to call it for today. Look forward to some more videos coming soon. I really need to cap off this video. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't really gotten the exhaust done yet, but uh, you know, it, it'll get done. It'll get done eventually. I've been really wanting to get this video out to you guys, but I've, I've been feeling like I haven't gotten anything done. I've just been hitting roadblock after roadblock, but I'm trying to push through and I will get it done eventually. We're getting hit with some snow tomorrow and Monday. Hopefully you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I definitely did and I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things here. Um, got uh, some snow coming up, like I said, so probably keep us indoors and uh, keep us working on the car, so that'll be good. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and we are almost at 1,000. I'm really pumped. I really wanna get there. Um, hopefully, we can do something cool for 1,000, but I know that uh, you know it's gonna snow, so we'll see. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and peace.